In a dark forest, number three and his guardian are hiding in a shack. Suddenly they hear some noises and when the guardian approaches the window with his blade, he's suddenly pulled through the wall by a beast. Three immediately runs away, pulling some amazing jumps to dodge the beast and make it crash. Then three jumps off the edge of a cliff and glides towards the ground, but unfortunately he's found by the beast's owner. The guy takes three's necklace and then kills him. While three turns into dust, the enemy adds this necklace to his collection. Meanwhile number four is using the fake name John and having fun with his friends at the beach. When he goes swimming with a girl, his leg suddenly starts to glow and he screams in pain while an apparition of the enemy shows him Sam's death, warning him the same will happen to him. The girl runs back to the shore and tells the others that John is a freak, so all the others mock him while he runs away. In the morning, John wakes up on the beach and he's found by his guardian Henri, who usually pretends to be his dad in front of others. It turns out they're both aliens that came to hide on Earth and escape the Mogadorians, a different kind of alien that is killing John's people. He now has three marks on his leg, meaning numbers 1 through 3 are all dead and he's next. There are a total of 8 teenagers with powers hiding on Earth and the Mogadorians must kill them in order. The duo decides it's time to move again before they get caught, and John is devastated to burn all the photographs and other mementos he had of his life there. As they drive away, a little lizard comes along on their truck. Eventually they make it an old house in Paradise, Ohio. While they settle down, Henri erases any pictures and videos of John on social media so they're harder to track down and John dyes his hair. Henri also hides a mysterious box inside a grandfather clock and makes John's new fake IDs. Outside, the little lizard gets off the truck and approaches the house, only to suddenly transform into a dog. At that moment John hears a noise and comes outside to find the dog, who he adopts and names Bernie. Back on the previous house, number 6 arrives to look for John and finds the building empty. She decides to burn it down and walks away from the explosion without a worry because her power makes her fireproof. Shortly after she leaves, the Mogadorians arrive and find some pieces of the objects burned, which they smell to conclude John is still alive. The next day, John decides to go to school because he's tired of being home all the time. He makes it to the principal's office and while he's waiting for his fake paperwork to be approved, he overhears the principal scolding Sarah for taking photographs of her teachers. Then the secretary asks Sarah to show John around, so John enjoys the company and ignores Henri's calls. When they make it to the lockers, they're approached by Mark and his friends, who tell John he can count on them if he needs anything. However as they walk away, they show their true faces when they hit Sam and throw away his skateboard. John immediately gives Sam his skateboard back, befriending him in the process. After class, John notices that Sam is again being bothered by Mark's group, so he picks up the ball and throws it at one of Mark's friends with so much strength that it knocks him over. Later in the evening, John finds Sarah's website with all her photographs, including a whole section of him. However Henri quickly hacks the site and deletes any picture with John's face for his safety. The following day during class, Mark keeps bothering John, who suddenly starts feeling weird. His hands begin glowing and John tries to hide it, but it's hard because the glow keeps getting brighter. At home, Henri sees the same light on the clock and rushes to the school. Soon John panics and runs to hide in the janitor's room, but pitting the hands in water does nothing. The glow is starting to go crazy but at that moment John is found by Henri, who uses thoughtful words to guide John into calming down and turning off the glow. Afterward they go home and Henri explains that John's powers are finally manifesting. They'll only get stronger from now, so he needs to learn to control them. Then John goes to his room and manages to start the glow by choice. Excited, he sneaks out through the window and begins testing his new abilities in various ways. He throws a stone that crosses the ozone layer, runs very fast through the forest while dodging everything without fail, and pulls off some very impressive jumps on a small lake. Meanwhile a Mogadorian has dressed up as a human to enter a grocery store and buy a huge amount of meat and chicken. Then he throws it in the back of his truck to feed his huge beasts. Back to John, he's taking a walk and bumps into Sarah, who invites him to dinner. John is very impressed by her house and her family, feeling very comfortable and warm by seeing them playfully argue during the dinner. This is the home he always wanted. After dinner, Sarah takes John to her room and shows him her best photographs. Their cozy moment is interrupted by Bernie, who barks to remind John to go home. Before he leaves, Sarah gifts John a camera. As John walks out of the house, a jealous Mark watches him from afar. The next day, Sam advises John to avoid Sarah because she's Mark's ex and he'll take it personally. At that moment Sam and John open their lockers and paint explodes on their faces, also ruining Sam's picture with his missing dad. The prank was set up by Mark, who is now laughing at them with his group. A furious Sam tries to punch Mark, but John stops him and is tempted to do it himself. However he can feel his hands beginning to glow and knows he won't control it, so he ignores Mark's mocking and takes Sam away. Afterward the boys clean themselves and Sam throws away the picture while explaining his dad disappeared while searching for aliens. Sam is sure his dad was abducted, and that theory is why everyone mocks him. On his way out, John sees Sarah and decides to avoid her to prevent any more trouble. Meanwhile Henri is researching Sam's father on the internet and decides to visit the old factory where the guy disappeared. 
The floor is weak and he makes a hole to enter a hidden area underground, where he discovers some mysterious drawings on a column and a strange glowing rock, which he takes home for further study. Later in the evening, John gets tired of being alone and goes to the Spring Festival to hang out with Sarah. The duo goes on a horror ride, which is noticed by Sam. They have lots of fun with the different jump scares and eventually are dropped on a spooky fake forest, where they're chased by an actor with a chainsaw. Suddenly the duo is attacked by Mark's gang, where Sarah is kidnapped by one of the guys and taken to see Mark. While Sam watches from the shadows, John is being overpowered by everyone hitting him at the same time, so he has no choice but to use his powers. He knocks out most of the group with the glow of his hands in seconds, then he throws the last guy against a tree. Next he goes looking for Sarah and finds the guy that took her, so he blinds him with his glow until the guy confesses her location. As soon as John finds Mark, he throws him to the ground and gets ready to break his arm, but Sarah asks him not to do it. Afterward John walks Sarah home and they share a kiss. On his way home, he accidentally breaks a lamp post with his power, and tests it again with a second post, happy to see he's getting stronger. At that moment he gets a text from Sam, asking him to discuss what happened. The boys meet and Sam asks for the truth, threatening to show everyone some incriminating pictures. John checks the photos and sees they're nothing to worry about, so he refuses to talk. However Sam opens up and shares how difficult it's for him to believe his father abandoned the family, so if he had proof that aliens were real it would make him feel better. Feeling bad, John confesses everything and Sam promises not to tell anyone. The next day, Sheriff James arrives at John's house and interrogates him, accusing him of attacking his son Mark and his friends. John quickly denies it and says he was with Sarah, who can back up his story. James is still suspicious but can't do anything else and leaves, noticing all the cameras outside. Unfortunately a video of John with his glowing leg in the sea appears online, so Henri decides they must leave. However this time John refuses because he wants to stay with Sarah. An argument ensues which quickly escalates into a hand-to-hand -hand fight. John's powers may be getting stronger, but Henri still has more experience and after just a few moves he overpowers the boy. Henri changes John's mind by pointing out that if they stay, the Mogadorians will kill Sarah too. The next morning, John wakes up to find Henri gone and the box on the table. Suddenly he receives a call from a mysterious voice telling him where to find Henri, so John asks Sam to drive him there. During the ride, Sarah tries to call John and he ignores her. They make it to the right building in the evening, and when John looks through the window with his glow, he notices the owners are obsessed with aliens. At that moment a man comes out of the house and leaves in a car, so John asks Sam to follow him while he investigates. John uses his powers to open the lock and comes inside, where he finds more alien-related stuff and the blade that belonged to Three's guardian. Then John goes into the basement and a piece of his hoodie gets stuck on a nail. There he finds Henri tied up, and when he comes closer to free him, he's suddenly attacked by a man. John quickly defends himself and knocks the man out, then he uses his powers to release Henri, who explains the Mogadorians used two conspiracy theorists to set up this trap. At that moment the guy that left in the car comes back with Sam, holding him at gunpoint. John makes the light bulb behind him explode and causes him to fall, then Henri kicks him and John traps him against the ceiling with his power. As the man starts describing how the Mogadorians will destroy everything, a terrified John drops him to knock him out too. When the group tries to leave, the basement door suddenly explodes and a Mogadorian appears. He's about to shoot John but Henri pushes him and starts fighting him with the blade while telling John to leave with Sam. The men start destroying the basement as they fight all over the place, and the Mogadorian starts a few fires when Henri dodges his shots. Eventually Henri is hit on the legs and falls, but he finds the man's gun and shoots the alien until he knocks him down. Afterward Henri joins the boys in the truck, but Sam has lost the keys. John concentrates to try to start the truck with his power, but unfortunately the Mogadorian comes out of the house with the blade and tries to stab John through the window. Henri catches the blade with his hand but it goes through and pierces his chest too. A furious John sends the alien flying before finally starting the truck, and the trio gets away. During the trip, Henri gives John the rock he found, explaining Sam's dad had used it to track aliens. He explains that Sam's dad had actually been helping their people and was supposed to bring the 18s together, so now John will have to find the others on his own. Eventually Henri can't take it anymore and Sam stops the car so John can say goodbye to Henri before he turns into dust. Meanwhile more Mogadorians arrive at the house and find the piece of John's hoodie, so now they can track him through his scent. Before leaving, they punish the two men for failing their mission. Soon the bodies are found by the police, and everything is seen by six nearby. In paradise, James finds Sarah to ask her about John, revealing he's been using fake paperwork. Minutes later, Sam hears on the radio that John and Henri are being accused of being terrorists. John gets a text from Sarah asking for an explanation, so they head back to the town. During the ride, Sam reveals he has a rock at home that looks like the one Henri found, admitting he stole it from his dad. John asks him to get it while he goes looking for Sarah. Sam rushes home and bumps into Bernie, who helps him find the rock. Back to John, he goes to a party and everyone starts talking about him while Mark calls his dad. John finds Sarah sitting on the roof and she immediately demands an explanation, 
but they're interrupted by the arrival of James and a bunch of cops. When James tries to get closer, he startles Sarah and causes her to fall, but John makes her float with his powers and then jumps in to catch her. Then they run away, and when the cops try to surround them, John uses his abilities to freeze all the cars. After John and Sarah escape through the forest, Mark gets with his dad in another car and tries to look for them. They find their way blocked by the Mogadorians, who tear off the car door and throw James away. Then they force Mark to tell them how to find John. In the meantime, John and Sarah go to the school so they can develop the pictures John took with Sarah's camera. While he shows her the glowing of his hands, the Mogadorians surround the school, and Sam and Bernie see it when they arrive. Sam calls John to warn him, so he and Sarah try to leave only to find the corridor covered in blood because the janitor is dead. At that moment the lights go out, so John and Sarah hide in a classroom while hearing Mark screaming outside, trying to warn them too. The Mogadorians punish him by throwing him against the window, causing John and Sarah to try to run again. As they approach the door, it suddenly blows up and Six appears just in time to shoot some Mogadorians behind the couple. A gunfight ensues and after dodging a few shots, Six uses her powers to become invisible and jump on the enemy, killing them both with her blade and gun as she moves incredibly fast. Afterward Six finally meets John properly, explaining her guardian is dead too. She also mentions the Mogadorians have all the exits guarded, so Sarah mentions a tunnel under the school that leads to the stadium. Outside, two beasts are released from the alien's truck and Bernie barks at them before he begins to transform into a huge monster as well. Sam manages to sneak into the school and reunites with the others as a beast is thrown through the window. The Mogadorians also find them and open fire on them, so Sam and Sarah run away. John taunts the monster into following him, using his powers to throw tons of lockers at it. Then he smashes its head against the wall and the ceiling but the monster takes no damage and keeps attacking him. At that moment a transformed Bernie comes to the rescue, fighting the monster with equal strength. John uses the chance to go back to Six, who is stuck in a gunfight against the Mogadorians and is hit by a grenade. With his powers, John pushes the attackers away before hiding with Six behind the table. Suddenly she asks him to hit her with his glow because it'll recharge her powers, so John does so and she quickly recovers. Then John goes after the alien that killed Henri, stopping the shots with his abilities before fighting the guy hand to hand while Six attacks the other Mogadorian with her blade. After exchanging lots of hits, Six moves fast to appear above her enemy and kills him with a quick stab. Then she throws the blade at John, who uses it to kill his enemy too and finally get revenge for Henri. Afterward Six explains Bernie as a chimera from their home planet who came to keep an eye on the 18s. Speaking of Bernie, he keeps on fighting the monster, who is causing him quite a number of severe wounds. However when the beast slips and falls, Bernie uses the chance to jump on it and finally kill it. Then Bernie limps because of a hurt leg and transforms back into his dog form before passing out. Back to John, he and Six reunite with the others and they run through the tunnel to make it to the stadium, where they're found by the other monster and the last Mogadorians. Sarah and Sam run back into the tunnel for protection, and when an alien tries to attack them, Sam uses a gun from a fallen enemy to quickly kill him. Outside, Six and John work as a team and use their powers to start bringing down the Mogadorians. While Six stabs two guys to death, John pushes the other and tries to kill him, but he gets distracted when the monster captures Six. John starts shooting his glow at the creature as it flies around the stadium with Six in its claws, and after a few failed shots, he finally hits the monster, causing it to drop Six. She immediately uses her power to appear on top of the monster's head and finally kills it. The last Mogadorian uses the chance to shoot John without killing him yet because he needs the necklace. Then the guy grabs John by his face, but before he can finish things, John uses his power to heat up the Mogadorian's energy bullets. Six understands his plan and jumps in to push John away as he shoots his glow, causing the bullets to explode. The Mogadorian dies in the explosion while Six puts up a force field to save both herself and John. The whole stadium is burned down, but everyone is okay. Sometime later, John and Six get ready to leave, and Sam announces he's coming too because he wants to find his dad. Bernie also shows up, still hurt but alive and ready to go. First they put both pieces of rock together, which causes the rock to dissolve but also to give John and Six the ability to sense where the others are. Before they leave, Mark comes over to give Henri's mysterious box to John, explaining he stole it from the evidence locker as an apology. Lastly, John says goodbye to Sarah and promises he'll come back for her after it's all over, sharing a final kiss. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.